Welcome to the Fat Cats Rugby Podcast, bringing you candid rugby conversations, great interviews and insights into Ugandan rugby, and a touch of rugby in Africa and the world over. Fat Cats Rugby Podcast is a product of Fat Cats Media Brand for all your audiovisual content needs and equipment hire. Hope you enjoy this episode. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of the Fat Cat no, Rugby no, no, Podcast. No. <laughs> As you can see, uh, we are having quite a chill evening. We were given a couple of snacks. <laughs> we were given a couple of snacks for the podcast, but uh, apparently they are done. This is, uh, the snacks are like a currency right now. Uh, there is a transaction between Bruno and uh, PJ. And Caesar is back from his holiday. We, for those that have been uh, following him on social media, ah, the world has been seeing. Caesar, welcome back. Thank you, good thank sir. You, thank you. How was the honeymoon? Uh, good evening. <laughs> <laughs> we are we are having some interesting uh, off the set conversations here about Kings Park and its food section. Apparently, uh, when they make ten ten ribs at Kings Park. Three are for PJ, three are for Bruno, and uh, the other two are like, and the others are for the owners. What about you? <laughs> Why the guys put me in that? <laughs> those are accusations. You I don't even eat KP. ribs all the time. You have got KP. KP. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Breakfast is this calling Kambaya. You, you can go at King, to, to King's Park at like midday, and some guy booked like at 9 a.m. You're like, bro, some guy woke up to just book ribs. Man, those ribs are sweet, man. Uh, and then we have a, a very uh, interesting props that go and do the whole selection where they start from the Chigere side and then they get into uh, the, the Rolex and it's they get called in. It's IDD, N how are you? It's called end to end. So when you get in, you first leave the Shisha guy mm -hmm. and then you start with the Chigere, isn't it? So from the Chigere. I thought the Chigere is an extension of Mama Kanyana. Different people. Uh, no, no, different, ah, different, ah, different. This one has over what? For saying it has Mudalas. PJ, if you're going to speak that low, you're going to push up a bit on your. Yeah. Okay, okay. okay. Yes. <laughs> if you can push up, that is. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. So it's end to end. <laughs> it's end to end. In a way that uh, you start with Chigere, mm. with the Rolex, then fries. Then the baby with, with the fries it has also rice. Eh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But the wow. rice is for the staff. Yeah. Don't me have to engage. Yeah. But somehow you also yeah. in the staff yeah. food. Yeah. 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 You told me the, you call, there's a name you call that food section. What is it called? Which one? That food section. The food section is called Didi's Did World. Did 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 <laughs> <laughs> that had skipped now. Ah. <laughs> when Didi reaches that section, everyone stops. When, he, when he enters <laughs> KP, before he greets anyone, yeah. straight, and, he and then he shout. does end to end. He doesn't shout. <laughs> me, I'm hungry. I'm, hungry. I'm, I'm not even breathing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, um, welcome. Bruno, how was your weekend? How was Stone City? Yeah, you, there are so many videos that are going out. You, you're going viral, man. Viral. Yeah, yeah. With your Mpere. Really? One, unruly. One, guy, one guy commented that the Mpere wasn't, wasn't flexible. <laughs> yeah, Tagonda. Atulageko <laughs> yeah. 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 ah. no, But that was my, my best weekend so far. Mm. Uh, this year. With six more circuits to come. Yes, but that was Do you think best. you can maintain that energy? I, I want to attend all circuits. Like I said, when sevens were starting. Mm. That's my goal. Uh, I don't know if I'll make it, but that's my goal. Tell us about Ginger. How did, uh, tell us about the whole period. When did you go? What happened? Where did you get food since there was no Didi's World in Ginger? Uh, I might forget some places because we ate a lot. I was with PJ mm. most of the time. Mm. Uh, but uh, living I lived on a border to Ginger. Tell us about that experience. Really? We yes. saw it on social media. Mm. He documented this time. He's so, he's so, I think he's so heavy. And they reached a point and they got two flat tires. No, they had we, to, we but three, conveniently. We got three punctures in set. <laughs> conveniently, one of the flat tires was around Namawajolo. So I don't think he was complaining. No, but, but I thought when we reached Namawajolo, it was smooth. Wait, all the was way. it a plan or yeah, you were I wanted, late? I wanted to experiment it. Why? Why? Uh, I have, I have my two border guys who come from Kavali. Mm. And every Christmas period. They ride their bikes mm. to Kawali. Mm. Yeah. I always wondered how it feels like. But of course I can't do Kawali. I don't think I would do it. 
but I wanted to experiment. Didn't you reach? Didn't you reach Ginger? Now your back is like. No, I was actually kawa. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the work out it's even, it's proper, even proper the, it's, boxer. It's even better if you are in Mavira that Mavira thing mm. and the sugar canes. Mm. It's nice. How about the unrushing <laughs> cars? Don't they like freak you out? And also the sugar cane, those with sugar cane trucks. No, we were slow. We weren't reckless. Okay. And and there are many stopovers now. Traffic guys, so mm. guys don't overspeed. Mm. Uh, then Cloud picked me up from the bridge. Mm. He was waiting for me at the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> so what time did you reach Ginger? I reached at around seven there, coming to seven, but it wasn't dark. Mm. Yeah, from from there, you I went. At me. To, I hollered at PJ. PJ was already there. Yeah, <laughs> then the movie started. My God, mm-hmm, PJ. I I, so, I I pity someone that is waiting for something like Shadow or Seven. Mm. It's when you missed Ginger, mm. you might not have as much fun as we did. Okay. So PJ, yep. um, you guys are still pushing your we are in the in charge uh, phrase. Aren't we? I don't know. <clears throat> but the day you, uh, Raymond told you guys, <laughs> the day you guys <laughs> lose. <laughs> he said, by the way, let me tell you one thing. We confirmed one thing. Raymond is a Cobbs fan. No, he has been like masquerading mm. like as if he hates Cobbs, but I saw the passion with which he does not like pirates. Mm. And I saw so his expression on the day. Like listen, listen. The on the fan. day of the final of the 15s, when you guys bottled everything, mm. he he was so <laughs> unhappy. I'm well, sorry, I'm I have so to sorry. include that. <laughs> they told us on Twitter what why you say all these things. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but no, Raymond was very unhappy. I looked at him, I'm like, I was in shock. I expected him to be happy that Cobbs is losing. He was not amused. So clearly, we found out his real club. Raymond is a Warriors fan, man. Staunch oh, one, by yeah. Warriors fan. Warriors. Raymond is a Warriors no guy. He, does, he does, doesn't like Cobbs, he just hates Pirates more. <laughs> oh, so it's a matter of the, 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 the lesser evil and the more, I've never the bigger seen Raymond evil. On Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> I guess like one day, one day. One day. <laughs> you won't be having that on that day. So anyway, um, Pirates somehow was able to continue or carry its 15s form in two sevens, um, winning the Stone City sevens against Scobs in the final. I think it was 1970, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Timothy Kisiga throughout the tournament was stellar. Um, and that's from us who are watching on on uh, on, on TV. Tell us, you guys, about your experience on ground. How was the circuit? Uh, a little bit of what what happened on the pitch and then also what happened off pitch. Because I'm sure there are a lot of things that we did not experience that you guys experienced. Maybe starting with you, PJ. Uh, maybe uh, I'd like to first start with the build-up. Mm-hmm. To the sevens. I'd like to start with the build-up. Uh, stretch it come. so he reaches him. Just stretch it. Yeah, I think that's enough. So, uh, boys were in camp. And, mm. uh, this uh, mindset was really positive. Mm. You know, with uh, the way Mavo does his things. Oh, he's a hard guy. So anything that he brings up, uh, guys have to just make sure that uh, everything is executed very well. Mm. Uh, and I would want to say that uh, from day one, when guys uh, guys were geared up for the sevens, and uh, at least we knew that we were going to take it on and finally win. So um, about the journey... Uh, Saturday, I wasn't fully engaged, uh, but at least I happened to witness whatever that transpired on, on Sunday. Um, as per the game that was trending, <laughs> that is a Rhinos game, mm. uh, everyone was, you know, tweeting, I was checking the group, <clears throat> everyone was talking about the <clears throat> game. I would want to assume that it was tight. I, I think it was the tightest game for, for Pirates, uh, leave alone these others. So, uh, what, what lessons do we learn as pirates? Because uh, I heard that we considered the boys, you know, who are less effective, kinda. Uh, but then uh, we managed to be, you know, we managed to. You are too slow feet. for rhinos. <laughs> <laughs> Don't come <laughs> ah. Ah. <laughs> No, 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 no. Okay, we're, the we're first half here. We're, we're, we're hungry to win. <laughs> <laughs> no time for food. <laughs> So m- maybe Bruno will elaborate more on that. But then um, uh, me, all I can say is that uh, it was a good tournament. Mm. Uh, having uh, 
I thought, initially, I thought we would face Heathens in the final. But then, uh, luckily enough, uh, Udugo did his magic. And uh, of course, that's, uh, that's how uh, Cobbs managed to, <laughs> to go through. But then, uh, it, was, it was really a good contest. So, all in all, uh, it was a good, uh, it was a good uh, tournament. The two days were really worth it. It was value for money. Because mm. if you hear my friend uh, Bruno, uh, for going Itaku to use a judge, but people invested. No, I'm just <laughs> yes, you know what to do. Bruno, Bruno has a problem with his head. Like, he thought about his options, taxi, uh, maybe even you can go as well as saying a, a cab. He said, I'm going to take a border. That was a car. The one I came with. Come and get the return. How by how much was the the, the hey, charge the for charge. the bonus? Well, the bike is mine, so ah. I just put it. investor. I'm going to make money. <laughs> <laughs> the guy riding you was he your much, one of your Muchiga hey, boys? Hey, hey, yeah. Come on, the guy. Hey. Come on, the guy. So all in all, uh, Ruben, mm. it was really a good tournament, and uh, we look forward to see how Chitigum will turn out. But mm. yeah, I'm really happy. Pirates, we are still in charge. Mm. Before we get into more of that, Caesar, you know, I know you're not you are not in Ginger because you are, you are living your best life, ah, with your baby yeah. book. Uh, we have had so many chucks for you over the previous podcast. We are happy now for you. But okay, you gave me some podcast mm. <laughs> anyway. Uh-huh. So anyway, how, um, what are your feelings about um, Cobbs? Which I, in my opinion, I feel it was a bit under. Under strength, I should say. Mm. And them reaching a final after a tight semi final. Actually, yeah. I believe of the two sides, Pirates and, and, and Cobbs, they had a, a harder journey to the final. Yeah. I, what do you feel about that finals loss? Do you think it is something that is a demoralizer or are you happy with being second? Because those are, those are 19, 19 points. points. Winner yeah. getting 22 points, uh. um, second getting 19. Well, first and foremost, congratulations to. Pirates. Say, say it properly for, for, yeah. for, for, for the ginger circuit. Say it without I've crying. I've said what I've said. <laughs> say it without crying. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, to be honest, to be honest, for me, I'm going to speak on my behalf. Mm-hmm. And a few fans, were re- it wasn't really any demoralizing. Mm. Demoralizing because mm. there were very many firsts. Aredo is coach for the first time in a while. No, he also pushed NTV Sevens last season. Yeah, but just NTV Sevens mm. because, but this time he's doing his level two co- coaching back, so he was coaching. Isn't it a ba- bit odd Ma- when Manano. someone, when they Manano would, was, you would need him on the pitch? I'm sure he would have made a difference in that final, and then he's the coach. Exactly. And the team has depth. The team has depth. We reached the final without a radio, didn't we? Uh, the team has depth, really. I, I, a radio decided to coach and. The leadership accepted because we also need the coaches. We're tired of using the same coaches. Mm. None of us is crying for Marvin to come and what? And, <laughs> and, and, and <laughs> <play the parents. laughs> so, who is I mean, crying? Um, my point is, you, by, uh, that's a very good question. You all are in my DM asking me why Aredo didn't play. We Cobb fans are happy he didn't play. Why are you? You are Redo's biggest fan, fan, so. Play. No, for you, you can't. Don't have uh, my number. <laughs> anyway, Oma, let me go back. So, I, I was. I don't know why Chumono isn't uh, playing. <laughs> I was happy. I was happy with, with, with the team's performance personally. I, I was actually, let me be honest, I was really shocked. I was really shocked because I didn't think we we're going to reach that, find the first circuit, to be honest. And I told the boys yesterday, I was shocked that we were in the final. And we did well. Man, the guys, we have unbelievable players. Mm. As Cubs, very, very unbelievable George. players. So they, they held their own and it gave me too much. To answer your question, we're not demoralized. It gave us anticipation. We anticipate for much, much better things to come. That's why I'm not, like Bruno, not missing any other circuits yeah. of sevens. Because I want to, because we're going to do... Much much better, and I believe, and I believe we have we have, uh, I believe we have uh, high chances, and the sevens are going to be nice. Yeah. Uh, of course, people are saying it was a weekend Cubs team because Adrian and and Ian weren't playing, but I feel like it's a, it's also disrespectful to the players that the played the players, yeah, because sure. they they did this. Of course, if 
Adrian and Ian <coughs> come back, it will be whew, added, you know, mm. add, another another advantage because they are mm. prolific players. Just but like Mabomo then, coming back. So, yeah. yeah, but if that, <laughs> by the way, if I'm Paris, <laughs> I should stop counting Mabomo. <laughs> the young lawyer, mm. young father, reduce his playing time because. Anyway, this is where this cat is attracted to you. I don't understand. I'm a fat cat. (laughs) (laughs) So, (laughs) in other words, you're a Garfield. Anyway, to finish up, I think it's going to be uh, it's going to be uh, good for our team. We have very good players. We have very good management, the coaching and all that stuff. So, we are going to do well. And when whenever Adrian and Ian come into the fray, if they do, then we shall compete and I'm just happy. I'm just happy, 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 happy. We did how we did. And the fact that Pirate Squad tries off our mistakes and not off their ingenuity, that also speaks a lot. Wow. Yeah. Thank wow. you. Wow. Okay. okay. That is what they call sorry, but not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Caesar, I mean, uh, not Caesar. Bruno. Yeah. So tell us about, we have had all the action, we have had what you said about the final. <clears throat> What are your thoughts about the, like, the experience of Ginger? We've heard about Kasana and how it was treating bald guys. <laughs> Some of them, they needed to apply a bit of Vaseline. We have <laughs> had butter. guys yeah. who are eating uh, Rolexes the size of, uh, of, of, of Pirelli tires. Tell us, tell us. Can you elaborate more on that Rolex of Pirelli tires? Mm. <laughs> In other words, what you... <laughs> PJ... Where are all your snacks going, bro? Bruno is studying the thing. Ah, no, it's not me. <laughs> you have. You have. Yeah. Okay, me. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was I was early for all the games. Mm-hmm. Even on day one, I watched the first, the very first game. Your Buddha ride was on Friday. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. So I've I'd never <laughs> watched a seven circuit where all teams play nice rugby. Yeah. Like. Ginger, Ginger Seven, mm. Stone City Seven. It was just so beautiful. Um, my my highlight of day one was the game between Walukuba and Ginger Ipos. Mm. Now the locals from around <laughs> had all gathered to watch that match. There was that side of Walukuba and that of Ipos, and the noise was mob. And guess who lost? Ipos lost to Walukuba. <laughs> <laughs> who are look who are boys were on fire. They came back. They had to beat mongers. Both were in. Some guy, some guy was calling it a battle of, of the new kids. Mm. They are all smart in their new kids. Mm. Who look who turned down. Same. Then also, my highlight also of day one mm-hmm. was the game. It was the women's team. Mm. Uh, Thunderbirds against Lady Cranes. And also Black Pulse and the support of Black Pulse. But them being played and being rounded by their fellow players in the in the Lady Cranes teams was also awesome. At some point, Black Pulse were playing Lady Cranes too, which had four players from Black Pulse. Mm. <laughs> so you can imagine. It was I know I know mm-hmm. Emily's runs, I know how I will take her and they would stop her. Rachel would stop her, uh, Uma Grace Uma would stop her, or even Lydia. So it it was it was a combination of really good good rugby and good vibes. Um, then also our game against Rhinos, horrible. The first half, um, first of all, Rhinos were playing very nice rugby. Yeah. From the start, throughout maybe. Uh, Maybe the, the other game on day two, which was the placement game, there's a way they didn't turn up very well. But they played a very nice first half against against uh, Pirates. I have a feeling Pirates were overconfident, but also they they really maintained the, the, they they used Arnold's win. Arnold was good on defense, but now they would put a guy that would beat him uh, on defense and and they were quick. The first try was in the first minute, gave us the second one, and they were being converted. But um, the champion remains a champion. Uh, Pirates had to regroup in the second half, uh, rather in the halftime. 
then turn up in the second half to win the game and winning the title unbeaten. Okay? You hear that, Caesar? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Interestingly, uh, this week I actually ordered a surfboard and the, the name there was Arnold. I thought it was uh, the pirate's guy. Then I remembered he's a mechanic, not mm. a safe border guy. He's a mechanical engineer, mm. not a mechanic. Mm. Oh, <laughs> there's a difference. <laughs> eh? It's a short form. No. Mm. I have to say the whole thing. Eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, Ruben, uh, about rhinos. I want it before you, before you before guys you say anything before about rhinos. Coming. Caesar. I want it. I want it. I, I wish Coach Tobert could do what the Lady Queens have done. Eventually, when they pull yeah, out, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, really yeah. hope it's just like one idea. circuit where we Honestly have speaking, the I'm Uganda not a, I'm not a fan of the, of the Uganda selects playing in a national whatever. Just, now, like, take for instance, why would you give Lady Cranes one the trophy? Why? Look, yeah, maybe that. For the women. Maybe that's the problem. It didn't make maybe. sense. Let them me, play group stages. I tell you, what if, they, what if they win? You will take the second guy. Let me t- you take the other two. Let me tell you. We no, I think for Tolbert's case, mm. the Uganda seventh man, uh. the test the t- to him, the test for the boys is them playing in their respective mm. clubs mm. for a number of circuits that he believes mm. I know are good for mm. them. And to me, it makes makes more sense. More sense. Yeah. I was just saying when they pull, because I had the only playing for July. That's what They're I had. Four, four or five circuits. Four or five circuits. But I have a feeling, I have a feeling they might reduce because almost everyone got a knock. They got uh, yeah, 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 yeah. captain, mm. Desire. Gonya got, Desire, Desire got, good. Aaron got a hammy, mm. uh, Alex, Alex and Okenia are okay. Even Otema is Alex okay. is a robot. Even, <laughs> even Mubarak is okay. So, mm. But it was worrying at some point. <laughs> Anyway, so I have um, a feeling the, mm, the circuits they are supposed to play might reduce. reduce While we are talking about that, um, a few minutes ago, I, th- I believe you did see some people in our background checking at the Fred and Winnie B&B. That is what um, our dear hosts are all about in this serene environment, that um, we have a lot of people who are really looking for a getaway or a relaxing stay away from home, and uh, the Fred and Winnie B&B is always their choice, and it can be your choice as well. Um, of course, we talk about a lot of things. We have made it a song. Ten self-contained bedrooms. We have talked about the fully equipped kitchen, power backup system. Eh, all of those things. We have told you guys, if you can make your own very, very nice ad, we are willing to make you have a stay here a night, possibly for yourself or for you and someone special. Um, we always tell you guys that the contacts will always be running. And for those that are listening on our audio platform, of course, you have to call 0778-933-559. And that is also to help you also arrange if you have any sort of transportation that you need in and around um, Kampala or Uganda. Um, that can also be done. So on top of your stay, your transportation around the country is sorted. So gentlemen, uh, PJ, you had something you wanted to touch a point on. I don't know if you remember it with yeah, all yeah. the Nile special course, and, uh, course, and the because, snacks. Uh, See, our fixture against Rhinos mm. has proved to be a tough one lately. Because if you go and uh, check, even even during 15s, mm. even during the 15s, you find that Rhinos has been, I don't know, I think because they know they are playing fellow age mates, because mm. they also have a young team. So, if Chirabu you have to check. Young. Yep. <laughs> it's Chirabu Young. Oh, younger than Akampa, you, relax, okay, you relax. also have a team, but 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 Gigs is playing, Gigs Gigs is playing. Gigs. so relax, Just relax. China, guys, why Gigs is minding his own business? How does he get into no, this, 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 this strangers? <laughs> so, so, uh, I was, I was saying that, um, it being a tough fixture is that I have a feeling now Rhinos knows how we do things because even the 15th game, if you're to watch our 15th game, uh, first leg. That was our second game after playing uh, Heathens. Mm. It was hot. It was hot at Legends against Raiders. Mm. It's quite fast in the, in yes, the first minute. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and uh, I think we didn't get a bonus point, right? Yeah, we, you did not get a bonus we point in that first leg game. game. So now, that's, that's how tight Rhinos is. It shows some level of uh, maturity mm. and their conditioning. I've seen, I've seen uh, it's called who? It's the, the former Shimwa. hooker. Ah, no. The former hooker. A bu- Bulotti. Bulotti is Bulotti. really doing great work. He's really doing great work with those boys. Yeah, even snatching people from... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so how how does a fan of the top three teams talk about snatching players? No. You literally snatch an entire impiece. Oh, really? Who? 
We didn't snatch, guys. Yeah. Because the time you guys did, they, that they, they took uh, impis. They, they even took the team manager. Am I allowed? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, even, the team, <laughs> even the team doctor. Am I allowed? Team doctor? Even the team doctor. Am I allowed ah. to speak? Okay. Yes, you are allowed to speak. From time After they came back from Kasule, from time Otega, Kasule, Kasule, and Otega are the only people I can claim to have. How about honest. That's what I'm telling you. Mm-hmm. Time in memorial. Impis had always been a transition team. So uh, you're trying to say Cobbs is is uh, Impis is Cobbs annex. No, people just huh? choose to go to Cobbs because the best club <laughs> in the land. It's not because we are sna- you guys. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Record, tell you something. I, I, I've never let seen a team manager cross the side. Let me tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm team I am yeah. Six years. We know. In, in that time, mm. we were forced, and I repeat, forced on record, Mister Motevi Ronan, forced us <laughs> to support that club in in KPA. Of course, some of us refused. Now, <laughs> but I left. I left. But what I knew I used to do was hate Namiliango. And I hated Cobbs because of their Namiliango affiliation. I hated them so much. OJ used to abuse us in school as if we are the. Anyway. But I left Impis and went to Cobbs because the best. You guys, Cobbs can play rugby. Cops can play rugby. So Not no until one. They meet pirates. No one. <laughs> Just, you win once. In my language, there's a saying, mm-hmm. a guy who has, who doesn't <laughs> defecate, when he defecates, fills the whole world. That's <laughs> pirates. He went one to in 10 okay. years, they were, we are in charge. I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking. Yes. we are in charge. Okay, well, that's true. okay let's go back. Uh, I didn't take any plans. Guys, Caesar, chose to go to okay. We all chose to go Yeah, I'll keep telling you this, is <laughs> Like, PJ <laughs> went to Paris. Did they snatch him? Ah, did they snatch him from... Ah, no, 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 he requested. PJ, my point exactly. PJ, PJ, requested. PJ, PJ requested. But did he request as a team manager? He just snatched himself. I'm sure he even made his own. He he broke at his own transfer, PJ. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Uh, I did say that. No, no, no. You guys have said your chibos. No, no. I want to make this clear. I want to make this clear. Uh, After condom stories. uh, Mm-hmm. It was, I think, 2014, I think, around there. Mm. You know, Pirates was with uh, Impis. Mm. So that's uh, that's the first time I played with those guys. So after... Chilene is like, PJ, you know what? We can need your services in Pirates. Mm. So it's from that. That was the initial. It's not that uh, I broke the deal. I myself pushed myself to. <laughs> so from that time... But is, is, it, is it... From that time. Mm. From that time. Because mm. we, we, we kept in touch. Mm. Till when uh, I couldn't so, know anymore. I had to just... But close. those players you're talking about, man, they... Did some amazing stuff while in EPS. Hey, that oh, EPS team, if it had held for a couple of seasons, let's say two or three, they would be either having a title in their belt it or a solid title team. contenders. It was a solid team. And I had gotten a redo. But, but anyway, let's but continue. Give season and a redo. I had gotten a redo to come. There is no season. better last story. Season. <laughs> season. <laughs> season. <laughs> season. <laughs> and then they said I ate their money. <laughs> and then they said I ate their money. by the way. But we shall talk about it later. I'm going to talk about it. They will still have stories of you eating. Is it true? Is it true? Is it true? Is it true that some players cross over to some new players in this age? Except for you know, listen, 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 Some listen. new players in this age <laughs> cross over to, to, to Kings Park because of, 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 of the beautiful girls and the the, the no, DD's that's world. Not true. No, that's, that's not, not true. It's not true. Are you sure? I don't think it's mm. true. I, but wasn't people have, have beautiful no, girls? Ah, I'm going to say something. <laughs> and you say it and they attack you. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't want to be girls. cooked. People <laughs> <laughs> have beautiful girls, really. I, there's one who... Speaking of beautiful girls, let's, let's put a pin there. Mm. Uh-huh. Cross recently. I want to pick your honest opinions about the conversation that has been going on this week mm. after um, Impis Lynchpin, I should call him because he's a very instrumental player for Impis, uh, Henry Zekuye. Put out a tweet. I'm not quoting it, but I believe he said he was in disappointment that um, a Pirates player Let's not even bit about the bush. She was insinuating Nkore William said after scoring a try that you fucks are slow. I don't know if I've, uh, I've quoted the right thing. But honestly speaking, I want you guys, you guys to tell me what you think about that. He put that out, has blown up on social media. Um, My question is, why have you chosen to bring this up when we're talking about beautiful girls? <laughs> exactly, I'm coming. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Where so he, Where put up, he put out something. Mm. Now, listen. 
And I'm a messenger. Please don't shoot the messenger. Okay. Shoot you. Yes. I see Bruno. So, don't even smile. He's shoot you. <laughs> they say that um, William was allegedly. We are saying allegedly because there is no evidence mm. that he said that you f uh, alluding to impis that you fax are slow. Um, that led a, led to a series of debates. Was it was it in bad taste and should not be allowed in rugby one? Two guys are saying that's trash talk. It's in every t every sort of competition between teams. Then there were also there's always that third group of people in Uganda rugby that Sara word and say that it was something that lies under having a, a different route to it. It's not only about what happened on pitch that perhaps there could be someone of the fairest the fairer gender involved <laughs> that is mutually acquainted to both uh, people do you what are your takes on that i'll start with you Caesar, since yeah, you look Caesar, like you have yeah. a lot to talk I have a lot to before say. you say anything please pass me the opener <laughs> and more hard coins uh, more <laughs> There are no hard coins. No you finish the hard coins in the entire <laughs> BNB, man. <laughs> anyway, mm -hmm. you know what? this is what I think. Mm. Um, when I come and tell Pajo, Pajo, I'm going to squeeze you today, mm. you're going to sole yourself on the pitch because I'm going to squeeze you in a scrub down. That's trash talk. Mm. When you call someone a fuck, that's a different situation. Yeah. Me, that's what I think. Mm. If Corey, allegedly, but he hasn't come out to say he didn't no, say he it. apologized. He, he apologized. I don't think so he, he I don't think he apologized in that statement he put out. All he wow. did was put clarity, one, and and say that you know what, man, this thing we could have sorted man to man, have a conversation. By the way, he did not say at any point that I'm sorry. He just said that man, we could have sorted this. The public opinion, the court of public opinion mm, is not, not where Baloya. things should Baloya. be done. Baloya. So he used a lot of legal terms. He said sorry, but not sorry. Yes. Yet again. Yeah. Mm. Me, this is what I think. I first and foremost, I think it shouldn't have been handled on the TL. Henry should have gone and called out Nkore for whatever he feels he did. Mm. And if indeed he said you fax are uh, you fax are slow, that's that's not trash talk. That's derogatory. That's abusing someone. Do you think but trash talk finish, has limits? You can you can trash someone without without. Well, if I tell Peter I'm going to squeeze you and you guts for us in a scrum down, that's trash oh, talk. No, no. Well, how many, no, how many, many times have, uh, have you and Didi uh, fought in, in, a, in, a, in a scrum? <laughs> but my point. Let me finish that. Because Bruno finish. has a lot of points to finish. make. Mm. My point is this. Me, I think, if he said that, then it's wrong. Also, Henry is wrong to go to Twitter. Whining on Twitter just because you want to see... I just wanted to sit on a face. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm, I'm being honest. The other round of talking about what Bruno Ruben is talking about, he thinks that there's a girl... He said I am, some people, I am there's a a people that are thinking mm. that there's a girl in between Henry and... and, and but I don't think... I, mm. These are respectable professionals and please... Who have love lives. Who have love lives. Yeah. Who have love... You think lives. you lives mm. so let's not go very far let's speak to the fact that if Corey said it then he could you just walk to Corey and say man you guy what you did was very stupid don't do it again and they shake it out like the boys are there and we move on going on twitter man twitter guys have their own analysis on twitter mm. and it will escalate the whole situation from you know you know is. that camimo of, of someone on twitter who is giving judgments to other people eh? When they are just lying on their uh, mattress on the floor with black, with <laughs> dirty black, yeah. Yeah. that is what happened because everyone was giving their yeah, opinion. Man, is but I want to, uh, PJ, because you one thing I want to tell you if you, if you consider it trash talk, and by the dictionary definition of trash talk, it is solely meant to insult, and and uh, and it was something about insulting and embarrassing. So, trash talk, take for instance, you're playing Kenya. Mm. And um, just for the record, we do not uh, in any way condone anything that affects any person's mental health. But if you're playing against Kenya, in, let's say at Ngong Road, they're not going to care about your feelings. Exactly. They're not trying to exactly. respect. There's no such thing as respectful trash talk. Yeah, but but I want to know, PJ, what's the worst Kenya. thing this someone has Henry. ever said to you? This is Henry and this is, this is not Kenya. This is a, you see... You I'm see, you guys saying. forget that adrenaline and the pressure that gets on people... In on that come beach. on, how come it's how come everyone else didn't abuse? How come it's this is why I'm asking you? This is why I'm asking this is why I'm asking PJ to 
to tell us one of the worst trash talks you've ever gotten because I know I have a couple that have received me, me. and said to me, other people. You have told me very weird things. Like, like, like just give like us you have a big fact. stomach. PJ, you've been pregnant for years. <laughs> <laughs> that's trash That's trash <laughs> but then, but then, that's You trust think trust it can't like, affect him? Even that, that, that one like, can affect him. Guys have always asked me, PJ, Zala, D, what? Baby shower. Baby shower. No, even me, you're giving me that shit. Can you imagine? I get to put black. Listen, auntie, Diddy is my only hope. When I see Diddy, I'm like, So, at least I have where I can, you know, leave. But then, let me get back to Oh, my God. To your issue. Sorry. Assuming that time you had scored the try, it was Mposa passing by. Because in that clip, I see it is the same way. Uh, so if it was Mposa passing by. And he had that. No, listen. Uh, would, Nkori have, would, have, would Nkori have said that? The two facts are too slow for us. So you think it was no, a no, personal listen, attack? No, no, listen, listen, listen. Listen, I'm coming. I don't think so. In one way or the other. <laughs> but uh, to fail you. Let's get to the trash talk. Let's get to the trash talk. Uh, guys, uh, anyway, I'm, I'm surprised that it's the line guys who are crying about this. Let me tell you. There's always trash talk in the back. Guys, guys say weird things. They say weird things to just bully you and get <laughs> off track. <laughs> okay? In one way or the other. Because if someone says you fucks at, uh, you are fucking too slow, or too slow for if us. If you're fucking listen, too slow. Listen, then prove the point that you're not. It is that simple. Yeah, but you can't prove the point but that you fuck. Listen, <laughs> listen, listen to me. Listen to There's me. There's a difference. This, listen this, to okay. me. Boss, I wish B or D can tell you whatever he used to jazz. Whenever he's free for you, he'll be like, wait, I'm going to pitch that fat. But he would call me lipids. No, it's the same. It's the same. It's the same. Okay, I'm going to pitch your lipids. I'm going to pitch your lipids. You know, on the Whatever it is, I'll get, off, I'll get hard. Okay. But then, I have to show him that, you know what, B.O.D., you're not going to push this crumb, period. Watch that again. But before... In one or the other, me, people should answer my question. Mm. If it was Imposa, then... Would he have done Would he have said it? Okay. Oh, but or any other before, player, before would you have said this? Mm -hmm. give that's an example. What, that's what I just want to. It also matters who you're trash talking. Mm. Budonians, like, have a thing where they can check for their mothers. I don't know whether you guys have experienced it. Mm -hmm. They say, ah, your mother, something, your mother. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's not that they're abusing their mom. It's just a way to get to you to true, trash true, true, talk. That is exactly what but trash talk is about. You, a boy of mine, a boy of mine who I started with, first, that same... Um, we were playing Friday Touch in, in peace. Mm. And one of the Budunans said it to my boy who I said it with. Now because he's he's because he's, he's he doesn't know that trash talk of mothers. Mm. Hey yeah, 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 yeah. They chased him around the entire mm, in peace mm, pitch. You mm, get. Mm. So maybe like you're saying, if it was Mposa, mm. he wouldn't have said it because in case Mposa reacts. Mm. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the direction I'm taking. Uh -huh. Let me just leave it. We shall I know. You leave it to the you person. Say, say, you, say, you say it. You say it. No. What if maybe this has been hitting up from way back? Maybe the two have issues. Okay. Are okay. we getting to that? We that's, are, that's as, we are that's assuming a lot. Yes. That's what I'm telling you. That's what I'm telling you. That if it was impossible, someone, someone else would he have said that. Or he just wanted to, to take the message to that same guy. Bruno, that particular guy. Bruno, tell us your thoughts. Uh, I'm even surprised it took the direction it took and the hype. To me, it's just no more trash talk. But being in, um, I know Sequoia from way back. Mm. Uh, he's an entire boy. He's a soft guy. Uh, ah, yeah, that's he's, a he's, big he's a cool statement guy. to no, say. No, he's a cool guy, soft. This guy is a, a guy of, a... of few words. You get. You say soft. So guys you might say a hard word. And he perceives it Lipids. in a negative way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so <laughs> look at look at what sorry, we did. Sorry, brother. Sorry. You guys are there. So to me, Chimono to... Chimono called uh, Edwin an African cabbage. <laughs> <laughs> you are there. I remember Ogwete, 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 Ogwete called heathens paper bags. <laughs> 
I, me and my gom used to go at it all the time to the point of even holding our collars. Hey, he was telling me hey, that he's better than me. I asked him at that time. I asked him, how come you're not on the national team? And because we are so, not on Twitter. We are not on Twitter. So you yeah, think it's a generation now? It's also scrum where where be so told guys. All I see is animals. <laughs> Let me drink my oh. blood. Let's <laughs> quiz. Let's quiz. Let's quiz. That's what I'm telling you. When it comes to park, park play or anything to do with the park, it's, it's always it's always just like that. You get into someone's mind at the end of the day. You so do you guys do you guys think um, Nkore should have apologized or said I'm sorry? No, because of me, trash talk. To me, uh, I feel like it was trash talk, rugby trash talk, mm. local and international, mm. but perceived in some way. Mm. And now you can't Chris criticize how a guy perceives it maybe yeah. his mood was low or maybe something he has never had <clears throat> being spoken to him as trash talk um, and being now that there is mental health awareness you have to listen to the guy yeah uh, so and you cannot I'm judge glad. also how he chooses to vent exactly mm. uh, so me i feel like Nkore coming up to tell him I didn't think you'd perceive you it that, that way. That way was okay. But for trash talk, it's here to live, man. It's here to live. But then uh, if, just even in, Iron, man, in man. NBA, mm. trash talk in NBA yeah, is worse yeah, than yeah, rugby. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Strong words, my friend. So trash talk is here to stay. Uh, I mean, if you can, if you can see the words, do it and attain what you want to do. Mm. If you can have them to your advantage, as long as they are not, they can't get you a card or ban. Go ahead. But then, but then also mm. maybe one one thing before yeah. we move. Uh, you see, initially, I didn't even know the person they were talking about. Honestly speaking, it's after seeing you know, that our online investigators they it's, had already after put that two and two together. Uh, that, that I noticed that maybe they are many. It's it's, it's, it's incorrect. Mm. But then in one or the other. Uh, someone who's uh, who's up for sevens, because now it, it is tarnishing the name, because he even stated that the sevens, this person is playing for the national sevens. He went so back it, hey, you check that tweet, because he said he's a, a national team, you know, uh, player. So in one or the other, Nkore, <coughs> I think because, you know, uh, it's, it's the time when they're, eh, they're yeah. going to start pulling off guys, you know, who will qualify. In one or the other, I think he thought it wise to to apologize, send a public apology because he knew things had run out of hand and that's all he could do. Maybe but he's a peaceful he was man pussy. as well. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nkore is, is not a guy who will always come and, you know, because he, he, he jokes a lot. Yeah. You never know, maybe he was joking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, maybe uh, with the way Toli is going to start saving guys, he thought maybe he would fall in the trap, but huh? I think... Caesar, do you feel like... <laughs> do you feel like... Caesar, do you feel like... And Corey should have maybe issued a better apology, or was it something they could have shared a now special over? You see, apology, apology on Twitter says so many things. Mm. Mm. Apology on Twitter can can be twisted to mean that you I'm actually you. Uh, you actually agree that you are abusing someone and mm. you are apologizing for it. Oh, yeah, but, yeah. What he did, explaining himself, I didn't, I haven't read his tweet. I didn't even know he did. Uh. What he did, explaining himself. It's okay. Let him do that for Twitter. Then he goes to Henry and tells him, man, I'm sorry you perceived this wrong, wrongly. It's not what I meant. And we move on. Because he doesn't need to answer to Twitter. Because yeah. Twitter they need answers. Because even <laughs> if you get them, guys don't they want will, to they know. Want to ah, know. So they will go do their own things. No. Yeah. I think anyway. you should just handle it with mm. Henry over an hour special. They just handle it with Henry and we move on, man. Anyway, um, as we, we drift away from um, trash talk and Pajob's lipids. Um, <laughs> but beard, are you sure? Beard? No, that is typical beard. Right? That's not even me. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah? laughs> <laughs> so, um, so, me and Beard, uh, anytime. Mm. Even now, he can get into So, the game. Stone City Sevens concluded with Pirates as the champions. They, included, uh, they concluded with. Um, with uh, the top, top try scorers being uh, MVP of uh, the tournament, uh, Timothy Kisiga, who was, in my opinion, majestic. Yeah. Uh, 
Um, someone commented saying that the way he sees moves is like as if it's a fan on the side. Who can see a move? You know, when you're in that pitch, sometimes hard to see some things. Yeah. But he looks like he's three steps ahead. Yeah, yeah, true. He he had eight tries from the tournament. Marco Suna, who was very impressive for Cobbs, had seven. Yeah. Um, I don't know if for Roth, I know that Tukunda and uh, Lawrence Sevoliva had six for um, Arena for Roth and Lawrence Sevoliva for Heathens. I know that Tukunda for Pirates. So you can see even the try count. <laughs> is dominated by uh, the teams that uh, reach the top three. Um, just looking at the, now, the w how the standings are at the moment, uh, maybe this can also paint a picture for the new rugby fans that um, the series is all about accumulation of points. And at the end of the of the seven circuits, then the one that has the most points accumulated ideally wins. Yeah. So that is it takes us back to the case of, of the Ginger Hippos yeah, yeah, who yeah. won one circuit but were so consistent that they were second, 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 third sometimes and they had enough points to win the overall. So there are people that win on the day circuit or the weekend circuit, and then there are people that win the overall. Mm -hmm. So um, after Stone City 7 is the first circuit, um, the standings are Pirates with uh, 22 points, Cobbs with 19 points, Evans with 17, Impis 15, Buffaloes 13, Hippos 12, Rhinos 10, Walukuba 10, Mongas 8, uh, Warriors 7, and Rams 5, and these are the core teams. So guys, as we are losing daylight, let's talk a little bit about uh, Kitgum, where we are going next. Um, yeah. Someone said it's 435 kilometers, about seven hours uh, drive, give or take, depending on uh, if you're using a border. I think if you're using a border, you may need a bit more time. Mm. Um, I don't know if uh, okay. if Bruno is willing to 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 test that okay. again. Ah, no, 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 no. But um, I, mean, but, um, uh, I want Skarum. to the land of I'm Bueno. Think, I'm thinking of riding a bicycle to Bugembe. You lose your stomach, but that's a good thing. Bruno, anyway, Bruno. so I mean, personally, that can personally, wait, I join you. Uh, no, you are Caesar. Can, <laughs> Caesar, do you even know how to ride a bicycle? Come on, I grew up in Nyanto. What do you expect? To, uh, to other mode of transport. <laughs> <laughs> and you're taking my to the. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> all who ate cornflakes who are going to the well to fetch water. And, uh, yeah, no, that's to get. You also fetch water. Oh, bro. <laughs> I was in Nyantonde. National yeah, water is a place. So, 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 Bruno is the only one I want to get here. Uh, no, 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 you learn how to greet, you learn how to say thank you. Maybe also, I've not yet learned how to, uh, how to ask for food, but the most important thing is learning how to, to, if you walk up to a woman and tell her you're beautiful. And that is the one thing I've, I've, I've tried to learn. You mm. learn my rat. No, you, just, you just look at her and say, I'll for you. And Apoyo is thank you. Apoyo is thank you. So you say Apoyo, Ileng Marat, thank you. You are very beautiful. When I won't find out. So guys, what are your what are your plans for the Kid Boom Sevens? I'll start with you, PJ. Ah, cannot be going. Relax. Honestly speaking, um, I made uh, I made follow the game. Kings Park. No, I made follow the games on TV. Uh. I haven't made up my mind yet, but then uh, going into this, uh, I know uh, maybe uh, in our camp, that's Pirates. I don't know if uh, Desire as well, because uh, I don't know as per the assessments, but then we need to know by, by maybe tomorrow, we shall know when the squad is, is fully, when we fully know who is going and who is not. <coughs> but then, uh, Caesar was talking about depth, until mm. Caesar that when it comes to Pirates depth, now nah, we are way far. So why, why, why is it that when you lose national team players, you're always complaining? I know, but we always we turn up. We, play. we always turn up. We play. We always turn up. But it's a fact that no. many of the fans are always they causing. They only complain. No. Me, I, I got you. Mm. <laughs> they complain so that when they lose, they say because we didn't have our players. <laughs> but when they no, win, no, 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 they, no, no, they, no, they no, even when right. they win, they say we even won without our players. <laughs> Guys, Paris has a very good team. Very good team. Let, let them not. Quick. No, listen. Let me listen, tell you it. Listen. Anyway. I wish your son plays for pirates one day. I, I let him be, man. It's freedom. And, and goes, and goes freedom. to Namiriango. 
Mm. He goes, man, the school is this performs, man. They have brains, is it? Rugby and get <laughs> smart. <laughs> That's all they did. <laughs> but they years after they have brains. <laughs> I can't get my son to a million. So, so uh Ruben, all in all, mm. uh, all I can say is that uh, guys are psyched up. Mm. Uh, we are taking the, mo- the the win to give us the momentum to make sure that at least we sc- scoop all the, the rest of the of the sevens, which which I think is still possible because of uh, of our depth as number one, then the uh, the physicality mm. because uh, I've seen. Ah, Boys are hard to talk when it comes to tackling. Yeah, so that's what I'm telling you. My boy is doing is cooking a lot. Mm. He's cooking a lot. And I know you trust him. He's a trust good him. man. Yeah, he's, he's a, a good man. man. What what ideally would be man. the result at the end of the weekend that would make you be comfortable that okay Pirates has done well, knowing that we still have after Kitgum there will be five more circuits. It's a whole marathon. Of course, one of course we have to win. To win the the entire, the your goal unbeaten. is for them to win the entire. Yes. You want an unbeaten seven unbeaten. circuits. And yes. I don't think that has ever happened in no, Uganda. Listen, no, no, no. I, I thought you meant only Chitubu. I'm meaning Chitubu. Yeah, okay, I'm talking about Chitubu. Yes. yes um, so, uh, one is uh, not seeing Cobbs in the final. Uh, because, of course, you know, Cobbs, they, they, they keep piling, they keep piling, and they're number two now. So, uh, any Pirates player, I think, like, like the way <laughs> my brother Caesar here, it's us, but for us we don't have that that, that bad blood because I know he also wa- he doesn't want to, to he doesn't Park. want us to get into the final, isn't it? No, I don't. You don't. I yes, am, exactly. So same, 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 no, same to same to. I don't think there's a man across there. It's cops, but he just doesn't come out <laughs> like I come out. But he doesn't want to even see it. Oh, I made you that guy. I made him wear. I made him wear. I made him wear blue jersey. He wanted to vomit. That man is. By the that week when when Bruno. <laughs> Worry, a cop's jersey, he fell sick. For he those that don't know, so we had to go and check on him in the so hospital. I'm not any different, uh, really. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, exactly. I because this is, from, this is a tournament. This is a tournament. My brother's from my village. Just, and the fact that this is a just has a deformity. Oh, I don't want to see you guys in the fight. <laughs> <laughs> Bruno, <laughs> tell us, tell us, tell us about. Uh, are you going for Kitgum? Yes, sevens? I'm going. You? I'm setting off on Friday. How are you going this time? Are you going by plane? Ah, no, 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 no. Hey. I'm driving with. You my friend Andrew. Mm-hmm. Uh, Wait, are, are you using Karuma or you're passing uh, ginger side? Ginger? <laughs> hey, people can use ginger to go to Kitu. Really? Oh. No, no, no. We are, we are oh, using Karuma. You don't know. How? Oh. Now, Caesar, you, you said you're going to travel. Where are you going to pass? Anyway, you don't mind. Karuma, ginger. Anyway, Bruno, Bruno you were saying. Through the uh, east. Through the east. Come on, Bruno. Uh, <laughs> man. Uh, Again, I would people, people have kafuta. People have kafuta. I'm using Karuma. I hope to be there in for all games like I always do. Um, it's going to be tricky. Uh, those far up country circuits have been a teaser for the big teams. Mm. And considering how teams like Buffaloes, then Walukuba, then Rhinos we are playing, but it's going to be a shocker. Place. Then also consider uh, Heathens, Pirates and Cops. How many players? Who have jobs, jobs former jobs? Yeah. That's actually one and thing I wanted be, to talk about. It would about. be hard for them to travel early on a Friday. And not not even only the players, even the fans. Does it affect the experience of rugby? There right? is that as well. Players who have jobs, man. That means you have to sacrifice Friday to travel. You have to. It's very hard to travel on Sunday after the game. So that means even Monday is dead. But even for the fans, so it's going it's going to be tricky uh, for the big teams. And I'm pretty sure buffaloes or rhinos might make it to the final, to the final or semis. Mm. Wow! Yeah. Especially buffaloes. Uh, especially buffaloes. Yeah. yeah, that team I can. They have, they, have, they, have, they, have, they have they have guys who are used to that weather. Eh? To such, K, such conditions. To K, to K. Yeah. Then yeah. Liam as well. Every time, yeah, really every time I see Danny, I just get excited. And I know you want to do it. Good guy, used to uh-huh. it. continue. Anyway, yeah. let's talk. Uh, so I. Uh, uh, I, what I would wish for my team is I wish I wish them I wish Pirates two things mm. either win the circuit or get or reach the final yeah for for points maximization yeah, 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 yeah. reasons yeah. Uh, that's what I would wish for them but of course number one wish would be to to, 
to take the circuit which will which won't be news. Yep. Caesar. Yes. Tell us about your expectations for Cops in uh, the first circuit you're going to watch this year. They'll perform. Cops always shows up. They'll perform. Except for the other issues, the Wakiso Sevens where we had some issues which we sorted. Cops always performs. They always like my goal is for Cops to win. Because I love it when Cops wins. But they will perform. They will get to the final. That issue Bruno is talking about is a very, very major issue about because it. Work is everything, and you see, Kid Goom is not ginger. You can't say, I'll come in the morning, I can miss one or two games, then I play the others. Which oh. happened, which happened in most, 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 unless, most of the unless clubs, you're yeah. the teams, yes. most of the teams in Stone City 7, yeah. mm. most, most key players played there too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, and yeah, then yeah, yeah. I want to know, I would want to see the Kid Goom pitch because it's a dry place sometimes, and the conditions of the pitch might mm. be yeah, 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 sometimes. Yeah. So we, that's what I'm there, saying. There are that's very what, many. That's what I'm saying. Buffalo has guys yeah. that yeah. Yeah. Can, yeah. can endure. Are there are very many. Ojambo can endure. Yeah. 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 that. There are very many. Yeah. 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 Solomon. Uh, but <laughs> for me, Adagani. Adagani Solomon. <laughs> I, I just hope. I, I hope and pray my, my club wins. Wins. Mm. Or we get to the final. Whoever we meet doesn't matter really. Mm. Whoever we meet. I just. I might not get a chance to talk again. So let me say this. Um. I want to shout out to a player in Rhinos called Olango. Are you hearing how Caesar scouts play? First, that's yeah. my last telling him nice last things. Year, no, 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 no. Yeah, last yeah. year pre-season, uh -huh. I was training with Coach Makalama for my lipids. <laughs> 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 for my lipids. <laughs> I was training and I would train on Wednesdays and I would watch uh, Rhinos, Rhinos training. Mm. And that guy, Olango, came and started also doing some shoots with uh, BMAC whenever Rhinos is not training. So, like on Tuesdays and Thursdays, he would come and work out with Makalama and Chisano all the time. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. And I told, I told Makalama, and, Makalama and I were discussing, and we said, this boy has too much commitment. Too much commitment. Like, he's training on Tuesday. Him and, and Bayer, some tall guy called Bayer. Too much commitment. And I told Bolotti, this guy is going to stand out in your team mm. in the near future. And then they call him for seven training. And then he's what they were talking about. They were talking about at the Stone, seven, Stone City Sevens. Mm. I was so happy. Happy one. Played, because, uh, happy, played, yeah. uh, happy one for me, for him, but happy for my intelligence. Sometimes I don't <laughs> eat. But the fact that I saw it before, I, I was happy. But I was happy for him. I'm happy that we came out of the Stone City circuit and no one is talking about desire. Mm. I'm very, very happy. Not that I don't like desire, mm. but that shows that other people yeah, yeah, yeah. stepped yeah, true, up. And true, true. that's for me, that that's growth on our side. And when still, have, you played day two. Yeah, and even played day two, you get work too. Work, yeah. 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 So, you get. Me, I, I like I like the fact that our seven superstars, Ian and Adrian, didn't play, but our team reached the final. That means we have enough depth. Oh, guys. Stepped up. There's Chiwalabi. There's a young boy called Chiwalabi. Mm. Got pushed into Cobb Seven's team. Played and by what I'm hearing, he played well. The few times he played. So me, I'm happy with that kind of. And the fact that you told me every team showed up, Stone City, yeah, yeah, and yeah. were playing good rugby. For me, that's a plus. That's a plus. That's yeah. a plus. It will be fun. Yeah. 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 Definitely, Friday. we believe Kitgum will be fun. I'm sure there is a lot of planning for you guys that are looking to travel. Um, Kit Goom, you will perhaps need to go on Friday so that you can have proper rest. There's a lot that can be done. There's a, a lot of rugby to watch. Um, if you were on our space um, earlier in the week, they did talk about the very cheap beer. They did talk about uh, the safety because uh, I think it's the RDC who is one part of the organizing committee. Nice. They, they did talk about um, the convenient accommodation that's next to a very, very standard pitch. And also just talking about the fact that uh, Kit Goom, was one of the, was number one among the, the 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 venues that was selected by the Uganda Rugby Union mm. when it came to um, locations that are on merit mm. to uh, ideally be one of the uh, sevens locations. But um, we could have talked about a lot of things, but daylight is not our best friend at the moment. Mm. However. Um, there's a lot of rugby for those that are traveling to Kitgum. Action is coming. The groups are not yet out, but we shall know them eventually. For those that are staying, you can watch um, 
on a certain network. We are not going to give them Kalango unless we are sending them an invoice. <laughs> Um, and then for those um, that also want to be and uh, watch actual rugby, the central um, central rugby sevens are also still going on. Uh, their second circuit is also going to be happening. At so moves. that is something that they, you can look it's out for moves, for those that are yeah, yeah, yeah at Moobs Macquarie University Business School. So yeah, um, otherwise it has, it has been a great <laughs> conversation at the Fred and Winnie BNB over wow. a, a nail special the and all the snacks that have been <laughs> eaten by PJ. We appreciate you guys. <laughs> we have we have a one year celebration coming up, so look out for that. And there's a lot of more candid conversations to talk about. So see you guys next week. Cheers. Man, the liquids are ending here. We are dangerous. Thanks for listening in. Share with us your thoughts from today's episode. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.